So, why am I standing here in the middle of a dirt circle? Well, this dirt circle has some special significance. This is actually the start point, in my case, or in other cases, the end point of the NEBDR, which is the Northeast Backcountry Discovery Route. For the next week or two, I'm gonna be traveling down this BDR, um, heading south, doing it in reverse, heading down to uh, New York, the New York border. And then from there, I'm maybe going to pick up the uh, Trans-American Trail and see if I can make my way all the way out to the Mississippi River. That'd be my challenge. That would be my goal for this coming fall. Going to do it over um, multiple weeks and might take a break or two in between. But this year, I'm doing it in a 2016 Jeep Wrangler. It's a four-door. I'm going to be sleeping in it. I've got all my gear packed in it. Last year, I did 5,500 miles on a motorcycle. This year, I'm doing it in a Jeep. Doing it on a motorcycle was just a little bit too much on my body, and trying to work remotely is just really difficult. So um, this is a little bit easier. I'm also gonna save a ton of money on hotels because even though I wanted to camp last year when I was using my adventure motorcycle, um, it was just cold, and I ended up just staying in hotels probably more often than not. B D R. Oh, and look, someone's left a geocache with some neat things inside there. So if you make it to the end of the BDR, in this case, the beginning of the BDR for me, make sure you bring something to leave in the geocache. So I'll give you a quick 10 cent tour of the Jeep. It's a Sport 2006 standard engine, automatic, nothing fancy about it. I've got it set up with a mattress in there. I've got storage in the back. It's a little bit smaller than the van, but it's four wheel drive. I've got storage on the top. I've got these plastic Playmo boxes seem to be holding up pretty good. They're watertight if you seal them. I'm gonna pull out canvas. I've got a bike rack for my electric bike, but uh, I'm gonna pick that up at some point when I get back closer to Massachusetts, try traveling with that. It's got a two and a half inch lift. It's got the 33s, BF Goodrich TAs. I've got a winch mounted on a square hitch receiver. I made an extension for it so I can get it away from the tire. I chose to have a winch that I can put on the front and the back of the Jeep. Rather than putting a winch in the front, I just put the square hitch receiver. So it's a beautiful day. I'm looking forward to putting some miles on. I got an early start. I did have to get here. I stayed in Rangeley last night, and now it's about 10 o'clock. Took me a while to get here. But um, we're going to start this trail uh, doing it backwards. We're in Section 8. I want to tell you this real interesting story. Uh, last night I'm, I'm coming into Rangeley and uh, you know there was a log truck stopped at a stop sign but he was just staying there. There's no, there's no traffic on the road. This is a backcountry road. There's, uh, there's really nobody um, around so he's just parked there. So I says well you know what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna 
I'm gonna go around him and you know. So as I go around him, he starts to roll. So I'm like, what are you doing? So anyway, so I, I put my foot in the gas and I took up down the road. Well, he takes off behind me and doesn't he come up on me um, at about 65 miles an hour on a country road, you know, 40 miles an hour, full fog, can't hardly see 50 feet in front of you. Um, scared the bejesus out of me. So, you know, I, I go a few miles like this, the guy's riding right on my tail, so I, 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 I give him enough room, I, I go a little quicker and I pull over so he can go by. Don't think nothing of it. About 20 minutes later, I had made lefts, rights, you know, up, down, in, out, whatever, um, heading towards Rangeley. All of a sudden, 20 minutes later, doesn't this truck come rolling up on me at about 70 miles an hour again, comes right up on me, this time, I mean, I swear to God, this guy almost tapped my bumper. He was like, he was like gonna push me off the damn road. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I, I just, I held my hands up like this, like, bud, what are you doing forcing me off the road? And then he does, he slows down and he turns on his, his, uh, his, his night lights on the back of his trailer, like if he was working a job site and he completely blinds me. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. This is all going on at three o'clock in the morning in the fog with not a not a person in sight. It was like something out of the movie Duel. How many of y'all seen that movie? I felt like I was in Duel. I'm not gonna mess with a logging truck, are you? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, you know, did I instigate this? You know, I really don't know what, what I would have done to instigate that, but you know, people are funny. So anyways, that was my quick, uh, anxiety story last night. Gosh, scared the living crap out of me. I woke up in the morning, I was still thinking about it. Anyways, back to the trail. So far, hasn't been too hard. Um, from Rangeley to the end, relatively easy, not too difficult. You could do it on an adventure motorcycle, even a big bike. You can do it in a Jeep. Um, if you did it in a pickup truck, you might scratch your paint on some sections. It's a little narrow. And if you were doing it in a Subaru, well, you might bottom out a few times especially at the end. But yeah, overall, good section, lots of fun. If you wanna borrow mom's Camry and do it in that, probably not advised. So I just thought I'd get out for a minute. This is this little side road. I've been on it for three or four miles. And I thought it was a gravel road, but you know, I think this might have been the old main road at one point and then it was bypassed because when you look at it, it looks like it used to be blacktop. And then ever and then every once in a while I see the remnants of this double lane paint.
I've been using Gala as my GPS navigation. Seems to be working pretty good. It's an app you download and then you can pay for a subscription. Seems to be pretty accurate. So overall, good day on the trail. Made it all the way to Mexico. No, not Mexico, 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 Maine. You'd think that I'm gonna set up camp now, right? Campfire, no, no. I am going to urban stealth camp. I am here at the Walmart, Walmart Supercenter. Why am I stealth camping here? Because there's a bathroom and there's water and there's food and there's entertainment all night long so made it to Mexico Super Walmart that's where I'm spending the night tonight see you tomorrow